Hello, I'm going to teach you today how to strap up a kneecap or a patella um, for when it's being pulled laterally, which is a common thing to happen, giving you knee pain. Okay, so we're going to start off with the legs out straight. So when the leg's straight, you can move the kneecap around. So make sure that you're okay with that, actually getting hold of that kneecap and, and wobbling it around there. Um, so we're going to use this Luca Tape P combi pack for as far as I'm concerned, um, it's the tape that I'm happy with staying on and doing its job. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors. So first of all, use the, the fixer mill part of the, the combi pack, and we're going to put two strips across. I want you to imagine the midline at the side of the knee and the midline at the side of that knee, and that's where we need to go from and to um, with this white tape here. It slightly protects the skin, although its main job, as far as I'm concerned, is to give me a good surface to stick on. So make sure you haven't got any oil or cream on the knee to start with, because we do want this tape to stick. Um, with the knee straight, we're going to put that across. Now, I want to cover the area from the top to the bottom of the kneecap. So use your fingers to measure the top and the bottom. And we're just laying that on. That tape isn't doing anything. It's just um, providing us with a surface to stick on and we want to put two layers on. They're going to overlap a little bit here. Um, so cut another layer after having measured it. If this, if you're at the end of the roll um, in the middle, um, a little tip is just to fold it a couple of times. Otherwise, if it's curly and you start peeling these off, it's going to stick to itself. So peel off the two bits here. Um, and now I've done the bottom one. I want to cover the top part of the kneecap there. Um, remembering to go from midline to midline here. All right, so that gives you that nice layer to stick on. Make sure that you can bend and straighten it. You want to be fully functional with this tape on. Um, you don't want it to be restricting you through any of those ranges. Um, so now using the um, the, the brown part, the Lucatape P, um, this is a good hold that I find. Stick it on the, um, the theme, thinner eminence there at the bottom of the thumb so then you've got your fingers to be able to use. Pulling it off and then the first thing I want you to do um, is just measure on the back of the tape. Again, from midline to midline. Um, I'm going to tear it. Depends whether you've got decent enough nails to tear it or you can use the scissors. Um, what we're going to do, um, we want to pull it from the outside in. So we're going to start, we want the tape to cover the kneecap. So again, remind yourself where the kneecap is and from top to bottom of that tape, I want that to be lined up where the kneecap is. I want you to line up the tape just a little bit, um, not overlapping the white piece there. You're going to use the fingers here over the top of the tape there. I want you to scratch it first, scratch it there, use a warm hand, make sure that that's stuck because that's the bit that you're tugging on to try and pull, pull the kneecap across. I want you to use a finger over the top of that tape, push the kneecap across that way and you're going to be pulling with the tape then. Push the kneecap across, pull and lay it down. Now you're going to see that there are crinkles in the tape, that's what we want to see because we're pulling the kneecap so far across that you're left with those crinkles in the tape. Um, we're going to do a couple of layers of this. I feel like that one was ever so slightly short. So we're going to go a little bit longer with this one. Tear it, again, stick over the top. You can go a little bit lower or a little bit higher just to get a little bit more coverage. Give that a little scratch. Again, make sure you've got something really tough to pull on. Push over with your finger there. Push over and pull across. Again, you're going for those crinkles in the skin there. That's showing that that kneecap is being pulled across. Now, what nice warm hands on it for a little bit. We want this tape to be able to stay on the knee. We want it to, to hold on the knee, either after an acute injury to the knee, um, after a patella dislocation, which tends to come over this way as well, or only goes over that way, um, or um, before sport. Now, if you're going to get sweaty um, or if you're going to be swimming, um, then you want this to stay. That's the most important thing. So ha hands on as you bend and straighten. Now you're not going to be able to bend quite all the way, but you want to be able to go through that range. You don't want this to be res restricting the range. It's very functional taping. Um, so those nice warm hands over the top, bend and straighten. Um, and put as many layers on as you feel that you need to, but that should be relatively comfortable um, and it should stay on. Um, now, it's advisable that you can keep it on for seven days. Um, now, seven days might be a little bit too long. You can shower in it, you can swim in it. It tends to just solidify it a little bit more. Depends on what type of skin you've got. Um, but certainly I've known enough people to keep it on for seven days um, and then come back in and it's very difficult to peel off. Um, so uh, if it irritates 
irritates the skin, take it off. There's no good you having pain and irritated skin as well at the same time. That's enough to finish you off. Um, but yes, uh, with you having the tape and me teaching you how to tape it yourself at home, um, you should be able to take it off after the shower, give the skin a rest and put another layer on. Um, so good luck. Give that a go. Pause the video at any point. Give me some comments on the comment box if you, um, if you have any ideas about this video or any questions.